Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Philandra. Um, I, I hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial and I hope you have fun just as much as I have fun putting on these pretty eyeshadows. So stay tuned. In this video, <laughs> just me acting crazy, okay. The Truth of Bear palette. This palette, I was very surprised because I, I've been wanting a all cream eyeshadow palette and the formula that they used for this palette it's it's like it's almost wet and it kind of reminds you of the you know the cream to um the cream to powder compact um foundation compacts and I think mostly covergirl use this kind of formula in their compacts it's the cream to powder foundation compact, especially from CoverGirl. I'm not sure about anybody else. It's like this wet, smooth feeling to the to the uh, foundation, and it's almost like it's it almost feels the same way with the eyeshadows from the from this palette. From this palette, the eyeshadows feel like they're wet. It feels almost creamy. It's not a a, a total. Um, matte like a, it, it don't have a total dry feel to it it's not uh powdery it's not have that powdery texture to the eyeshadows and i i really love this 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 palette because it's like a almost cream not fully cream but a almost cream eyeshadow palette and i just wish all our palettes could have this this formula because it's it was just so creamy that the texture, if you was to take your finger and it, almost everybody probably have this palette by now. But if you just take your finger and just swirl it around the, the eyeshadow and just feel the texture of it in your hand. It's like it's like a cream to powder palette. So I'm just uh, playing with the. Uh, with the uh, shadows in here, this is this is a uh, um, nude palette, but they ha do have some colors in there that um that are to me that are not so nude. But you can get a nude, a laid back nude look from this, and like you can get a more um I would say a more upbeat nude because they do have uh the shimmer the shimmer shades. And I did use the uh, shimmer shade in this palette. So I use Reveal all over my uh, lid here in the video. Okay, so here's my, my backstory with makeup. I'm just going to let y'all in on this. And they'll be trying to ask how old I am. So in, in my backstory with makeup... Um, we, my sister and I, you know, um, she started wearing makeup early. She started wearing makeup early. She probably started around 13, 14 wearing makeup. Um, but she started off like wearing like little things like uh, eyeliner, lip gloss, uh, mascara, mascara. She started doing like little stuff to see what she can get away with. So my trying to see what she can get away with before our mom said something. So she she did that. Then um you know she she's she's older than me, so um so when she was going like came to the point where she was like really wearing foundation. So I would go with her to the the fashion fair counters, right? I would go with her to the fashion fair counters and you have all these ladies uh, dressed up at the fashion fair counter, um, you know, and their, their makeup, when you walk in, their makeup looks nice. It looks pretty and it's neat and it's, you know, it's well done, you know, but they look like they're melting. Like they look like they're melting. Like it's, it was to me it was so packed on to the point where they just look like they're melting. 
tea. It was so packed. I don't know if y'all remember back in the day in the 90s, Fashion Fair Counter. You know, if you remember, they went in, you you go in there and they, their makeup looked nice, but it just was packed on too much for my taste. Um, And I was like, I don't want my makeup to look like that when I start wearing makeup. I don't want my makeup to look like that, you know. And um, she would go and she would get her foundation and she would get her her gift sets and everything. So time passed as it, as I got ready to wear, you know, makeup. You know, I am darker uh, than my sister. Um, so when I got ready to wear makeup, she was like, come on, let's go to the fashion fair counter and get you some foundation. So we go there and we will go a couple of times, you know, here and there. We would go a couple of times trying to see, you know, a good foundation match for me. So I go there. I had the hardest time, the hardest time trying to find a foundation to match my skin tone. And I just got so disgusted with, with foundation back back then. I just got even even going, even you know, moving time up to like two two thousand, two thousand three and all of that, still makeup wasn't we didn't have dark skinned chocolate ladies didn't have enough shades and foundation to match our skin tone back then you didn't have it and even then I had you know moving it from the 90s up to 2000 2003 you still didn't have much shades you know for us to choose from and especially with the at the fashion fair counter you definitely didn't have shades to choose from uh, there. And then on top of that, they, they, their formula where was where if you was uh, a woman of color and you was trying no foundation, they will always put this nasty desert red undertone in makeup for women of color. And I was like, Ew, I don't want that on me. I don't, my skin is not a red undertone. I mean, I mean, desert red, desert red. And then you open up the compact and it look reddish or you open up the con- compact and, and it'll have like a hint of red. But when you put it on, it'll really show red like this red undertone, and I was just so turned off about that. I was just so turned off, and I was too through. I was too through. So back then, as it, uh, as I was, like, you know, in high school and everything, I started wearing makeup, but it wasn't foundation because I had got really tired to the point where, okay, I'm not going to find my the match for me and I should I felt like I shouldn't have to uh purchase two foundations mix them just to come up with a match for me you know I wanted to be able to go into the to a store and buy my color that fits my skin tone so even when I got in high school I mean I wore makeup but it wasn't foundation I wore lip gloss, lipstick, eyeliner, mascara. I wore that because I just felt like, then I felt like, you know, it was like no, no hope as in finding a foundation for me. So fast for even, let's pass 2003. Let's go to 2007. You still didn't have a lot of foundation uh colors matches for women of color even in 2007 i mean if if when i discovered it maybe about 
five years ago. Five, between five and ten years ago, maybe. It's when you had, you know, good matches for women of color. You know, you didn't have that. You didn't, and you didn't have all of the, the different things we have now. You didn't have brow pencils. You didn't have uh, a nice selection of blushes. You didn't have a, a good selection of lipsticks for women of color. Not to mention eyeshadows. Then on top of that, foundation. All of that, like, to me, is, like, starting to come into play now. I mean, you have a uh, juvious place that has a big uh, selection of foundation colors and you have uh, Rihanna's line and she has a large selection of, of colors as well. Then you have uh, Maybelline. I was able to find you and you see me uh, in some of my videos, you see me use the Maybelline fit. I was able to find my, find my color uh, 368 in their foundation. But see, um, I have an oily T-zone. So I, I really want to stay away from like liquid, even though it says when you put it on, it's a matte finish. I, I really want to stay away from uh, liquid foundation because of my, my oily T-zone. So um, for the past seven years, and I still am, but for the past seven years, I've been like a bare minerals fan. Like I was able to find my uh, match in bare minerals uh, for the past seven years. I, I would go into Ulta and I would get fitted for the bare minerals. And I've been using bare minerals for the past seven years because I like I like the coverage that it gives me. And then it's a it's a matte finish. It gives me a matte finish. So, uh, and then on top of that, you know, it's it absorbed the, the oil as well. Um, so, I, I mean, within here, you see me just using the uh, the the uh, Maybelline Fit Me. So, for the past seven years, um, I've been like a Bare Minerals fan. And they recently dropped a uh, few um, products from from their uh, line from Bare Minerals, and I want that the new uh, sixteen hour compact. I want that so badly. But I had this was my first time in years purchasing a liquid foundation because I felt like okay, I'm not gonna find my my match, so I'm not gonna even go to liquids. I'm not going to even go to other brands that even has a compact. I'm just going to stick with Bare Minerals. So this is my first time. The Maybelline Fit Me was my first time purchasing a liquid foundation that was my match. You know, and I'm, I still, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm I'm still you know is a fan of bare minerals. I will be getting the, the, that that uh, new compact. I really will. I will. So mark my word. If you see me in one of these upcoming videos with that compact, just know I told you I was gonna get it. Um, but yeah, that's like my backstory on makeup. So I didn't I didn't wear uh like foundation, you know. In high school back then, because it was so gross the way they put the foundation for women of color, it was so gross, and it was always a red undertone. And I was like, No, and then I want my foundation to fit my skin tone because I don't like my foundation to look like I packed on a thousand layers, I don't want to look like I'm melting. Like the women at the fashion fair counter. Okay. So I want my, my foundation. I want my makeup when I finish putting on a full face. I want to I want it to look natural. I don't want it to look forced. 
You know, some people like the the dramatic look. And I like the whole dramatic look, you know, sometimes too. But you can still do the dramatic look without it looking forced. And and just and it was just it was just a whole nother. Uh, it was it was just ridiculous to see that and to see how the times change with makeup and how you having more uh now you're having more of um of uh uh a pick a variety of uh shades and and, and foundations and concealer sticks and the concealer sticks sometimes can you can use the concealer sometimes as the foundation because the concealer stick is sometimes a more match for you than the foundation. That's crazy. But you can use the concealer as it matches your foundation. You're not supposed to, but like it's not really any rules in makeup. But I have seen people actually use, they, they, uh, clean, wash and clean their face. They moisturize. They go they go in with the concealer. They blend it all over. And they go in with the uh, um, maybe a darker a darker concealer to um, to uh, for the face. And then they set it at your blush at your spray your setting spray and it's done you used a concealer for your foundation because that was more of a match than the actual foundation it's like really sometimes it's like no rules to make up like if it fits it fits for people who wants to buy two shades and mix it to you know come up with their own color that's good for them but i'm not the person that's gonna go into a store buy two purchase two foundations just to come up with my match that's not me i'm not about to do that so i just back then i wasn't wearing foundation i was wearing you like like i said before i was wearing lip gloss lip liners lipsticks mascara sometimes i would do eyeshadow if I saw a cute eyeshadow, the single pot eyeshadows especially, or the uh, the eyeshadow which comes like like two in a compact, you know, I would do that. But other than foundation, it was a no for me. It was a no for foundation for me. I mean, even back then, I mean, we didn't even have like I mentioned before with the blush. Back then, we. I mean, my aunt was using a different shades of lipstick as her blush. You know, old school, back in the day, what your, your grandparents and your aunties used to do, she would use a different shade of lipstick for her blush. That's where they get putting the blush as a lipstick in the lipstick container because back then... Women of color that didn't have the right blushers, they would use the lipstick. They would use a lipstick, cut their rouge back then, to add blush to their cheeks. A hint of color. That's what they did. That's what my aunt used to do. And then, I mean, now you have like different shades of blush to choose from that goes with your skin complexion. You know, it's, 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 it's like so much better now. The uh, brow pencils, brow gels, you didn't have that back then. You have that now. Bedding gel, you didn't have that back then. You have it now. Little things that we didn't have back then for women of color, we, we have it now. And it's a, it's a variety And you guys, you guys, I'm still, you know, kind of old school. I, when I arch my eyebrows, 
I still I still use like a razor blade. So I'm I'm still old school with that. I don't pluck my eyebrows. I think it's painful. My sister used to pluck her eyebrows. She probably still do. I just can't bear like sitting in the mirror and with the tweezers and plucking my eyebrows into the go through the, the each each painful hair you pull and you have to go through a lot of those just to get the eyebrow shape you want I, i'm not plucking my eyebrows that's that hurts but i'm old school i still arch my eyebrows with the uh razor blade and me that's that's how we that's how we grew up you know arching our eyebrows my sister went to plucking so you know in the household it was my mom that knew how to arch eyebrows and she would be the one she would arch her eyebrows she would arch my aunt eyebrows you know she was the one that knew how to arch eyebrows with the razor blade she taught me and that's how i arch mine but i'm going to soon let my my brows grow out because i want to reshape them so in the upcoming videos if you may see i'm a you know fill them in so they can look cute but they're not going to be too arched because i'm going to let them grow out so i can reshape them so yeah that's enough of me rambling on okay so that's a little bit of my back story with makeup and now I'm just I'm just having you know fun with all of the different variety now. Uh, it's like now women of color can finally have a variety, a variety of things to choose from, and now have makeup for everybody's skin tone. So that's enough for me for me, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna uh, let y'all uh, finish watching this tutorial. Enjoy and. Um, enjoy the elevated music.
I just wanted to come back and say, you guys, um, this this lipstick is uh is uh NYX. It's in its shade busted, and I have a prune lip liner on with this also from NYX. But <clears throat> my sister bought over some goodies for me to play with. Um, she bought over some stuff from Juvia's Play and a lot of other stuff that I'm going to share with y'all in the next uh, upcoming video. Okay, so stay tuned for that so I can uh, show y'all what she bought me. Yeah, this is her second time bringing me something. That is so sweet. She really do love me, y'all. Okay, but... Okay, thank you. I'm not going to uh, stay on here long, but enjoy that elevator music. <laughs>